The time me and Greg disturbed an ancient burial ground. If you were spooked out by that goat man story from before, then you might want to skip this one. Okay, if you're still reading, remember, I warned you. One time me and Greg were playing, were playing witches and ninjas in the woods, and then some teenagers came by and ruined our fun. Nerds! But that's not even the scary part yet, so keep reading. Me and Greg went farther back in the woods to get away from those teens. Greg said we should build a fort so if they came looking for us, we could protect ourselves. So we spent the rest of the afternoon making a fort out of sticks and logs. <clears throat> but Greg said we should put some rocks in there for in case things got really bad. But, but it was starting to get dark and, and there weren't a lot of rocks laying around in the woods anyway. But then I tripped over something, and guess what? It was a big rock. I told Greg I thought I sprained my ankle, but he was a lot more worried about that rock than my injury. Greg said it wasn't a rock, it was a gravestone, and we just disturbed an ancient burial ground. I guess you already knew that was coming because it was in the title of this chapter. I'll probably change it later on so I don't give the surprise away. Anyway, me and Greg were totally spooked out by this ancient burial ground thing, and by now it was really dark out, so we were extra scared. But Greg must have totally forgot about my ankle because he took off and I couldn't keep up. <laughs> I kept waiting for Greg to come back, but he never did. Luckily, my parents called Greg's house to ask him where I was, and that helped him remember I was still out there. Oh, yeah. And just to show you what a great pal Greg is, he let my parents borrow his flashlight and pointed them in the right direction. Groan.